Hey guys, what is going on? It is Carl here, back with another episode of Geared Out. Episode number five. If you guys checked out the last episode of Geared Out, episode number four, we did have a winner, which was Lewis, who astoundingly won with 65% of the votes. Thanks to everyone for voting, and congrats, Lewis. I'll be shipping out something pretty cool to you for winning episode number four. Just be sure to respond back to my email. You don't want to miss out. Anyways, on to episode number five. I have been getting so many submissions. It is so tough for me to pick who to include in my episodes, but to everyone that's been submitting all of their content, keep it up. I love to look at everyone's gear. If you are interested in submitting your very own gear, all the info is in the description box. Email me either photos or video, and be sure to have a nice over the head shot. And I can't stress enough, make it clean. The better looking the shot, the better your chances are at winning. Trust me. And I won't lie, the competition is getting stiffer and stiffer every episode. We will kick things off with our boy Jerome coming in at number one. Everything is sitting on a very nice pretty backdrop that looks like a gray wood finish. 13 inch MacBook Pro as his main device. His smartphone of choice is the iPhone 6S Plus. Can't tell which colorway that is due to the lighting. Headphones, he's got a pair of Beats Studios in the black and red colorway. To tie in a bit, he's got a JBL Charge 2 in red. I love that color. His tripod, I'm not sure what you do with this. It's the Manfrotto Compact. Let me know if you make YouTube videos. His watch of choice, keeping things Apple. He's got the Apple Watch Sport. And next off, to store all of his data, he's got a Seagate SSD, one terabyte drive. I said that right this time and his pack of choice, the Polo Ralph Lauren Messenger for 135 bucks. Thank you very much, Jerome. Switching on to our second entry, once again on a wood floor finish, we've got Jonathan with a 13 inch MacBook Pro. He's got a DJI Phantom 3 Professional with a couple extra batteries and a couple extra blades. His camera, the Panasonic G7, one of the best cams that you can get for 800 bucks that shoots crazy good video a Porsche design one terabyte hard drive. Huge fan of that, big Porsche fan myself. A Joby Gorillapod to complete his Casey Neistat setup, a couple of leather wallets. I couldn't find the names of these, but I love those, thanks for including them. And his headphones of choice, the Bose AE2Ws. I know they discontinued those, but nevertheless, a very nice set. Switching on over to number three, we've got Kayo, and MacBook seem to be the theme of this episode. He's got a 15 inch MacBook Pro. His camera of choice is the Sony RX100 Mark IV. Such a solid cam, I've got one myself. An iPhone 6S Plus in space gray and black. And to keep things Apple, he also has the Apple Watch Sport. I still cannot make my switch to smartwatches. Headphones of choice, he's got a solid pair of Shure SE535s. Those are 500 bucks. Such a solid choice though. A GoPro Hero 4 Black, a Bose Soundlink Mini. I believe this is the Carbon and that is $200. Once again, another Apple product, the iPad Mini 4 in the darker space gray. I think that's what they call it. It's a darker colorway and a Porsche two terabyte hard drive to store all of his things and a jaw-dropping Omega Speedmaster, man on the moon. Kayo, I love all your gear, but absolutely love your timepiece. Omega, speaking from experience, you've got such a solid timepiece. For those of you wondering, the man on the moon watch was the very first watch worn into space. This is all I can say, Kayo, good stuff. All right, switching on over to Steven for number four. He's got a crazy setup. His laptop of choice is just the MacBook Air, but getting to all of his gear, he also has a DJI Phantom 3 with an extra battery and the remote. He's got a DJI Ronin M. Judging by all your gear, I'm hoping you do some sort of video work. This is pretty intense stuff. You've got a Glide Gear DNA 5050 for all of your smooth shots. Camera wise, you've got an RX10 Mark II, which is such a solid option. Shoots 4K, that one inch sensor like the RX100 Mark IV. We've got a Canon 7D. Some of your top lenses, the 17 to 40 and the 70 to 20 F2.8. Jealous of your camera stuff, man. For his audio game, he's got a Rode Video Mic Pro with a black dead cat, 
and also a Rode NT1 condenser to round out his audio game, and a GoPro Hero 4 Silver with all of his accessories. Steven, you've got such a solid geared out setup. Definitely eyeing some of those pieces myself, like the Ronin M. You've also got a YouTube channel. I will leave that linked in the description. Everyone that checks that out, tell them I said hi. Switching on over to our very last entry, we've got Sydney, who has a Dell Inspiron 15.6 inch laptop and an iPad Air 2 to round out some of her devices. She also has a pair of Beats Studio headphones. This is in the white slash black colorway. She also has an RFID wallet. She's careful so no one steals any of her info. I like that. A Nintendo 3DS and Sydney, I'm not too sure what games you play. Let me know in the comments. Camera-wise, she is rocking a Sony DSC H3. That's 250 bucks. And her smaller point and shoot is the Sony DSC W800, which is only $88. Sound-wise, she is rocking a Bose SoundLink Mini. Those seem to be pretty popular on Geared Out. I've seen a couple of them. She also has a Razer Nabu X, which is only 20 bucks. Remember, you can check that out in the description. She also has a very interesting Dymo label maker, which she's labeled some of her things. I always love that as it's pretty unique. And Sydney, you've also included a knife in your geared out setup. It's by Wartech. I'm hoping that's your unboxing knife and you only unbox products with that. All right, that will wrap up this entire episode, episode number five of Geared Out. I was completely blown away by all of the submissions. Remember, if you're interested in voting, that is linked in the card system. It seemed to be working very well super tough as I absolutely loved every single person's submission. Geared Out is becoming tougher and tougher to pick a winner. I hope you guys enjoyed episode number five of Geared Out. I can't thank everyone enough who submits all of their content. Please keep on doing it and I will try to get to your submission. I'm on a current backlog of around two to three episodes. So in case you've submitted something, don't worry. I'm still working my way through it all. Be sure to smash that like button as it helps me out a ton. Subscribe to the channel for more Geared Out or I will catch the rest of you in either my next episode or vlog. Peace.